What's up, everybody? Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Giant Hula Hoop, which is in Halo Combat Evolved, beat the par score on Halo, which is the second level, not to be confused with the entire game. So let's get started. So you start off in this crashed dropship, and you walk out and grab as much ammo as you can. I don't have any skulls on in this level, but you could always throw some on for... More difficulty, but also more points are awarded with every kill, so that helps out there. So normally I just run across the bridge and run up to the next section, but since I'm going for points, I decide to stick around and kill all the people on this spirit. So he's taking his time. You don't want to take too much time, though, which I'm kind of going against what I'm advising right now, because time is a factor. There's a time multiplier. But as you can see, four grunts jump out of this side, and then on the other side is two or three grunts and a couple elites. But then after that, I exchanged my assault rifle for a plasma pistol so I could noob the elites to take down their shields, and then I could just one-shot them. Or, like, five-shot them if I can't shoot them in the face, which happens sometimes. And there we go. And there should be a couple grunts here, too. There's one. And refill your ammo. Eh, maybe there's only one. Just kidding. He's across the bridge. Thought he could get away. So some big point items are the Banshees. They're like... I forget how much there were. But you'll see when I kill both of them right here. There's four Banshees in this whole level. There's two in the beginning right here, and then there's two further on. I'll show you those Banshees as well when we come to them. But these ones you want to take out at the same time, pretty much. So you want to weaken one of them, like you see I'm doing. He started smoking, so I started focusing on the other one. So I could kill that one. And then I could quickly kill the one I weakened first. Because when you kill one of them, whoa, almost fell down the waterfall. Don't do that. Now I gotta waste time going back around the bridge. But as you can see, he's starting to fly away. Uh, after you kill one of them, the second one runs away. So that's why you want to make sure they're both weak. So that way you could make sure you kill both of them. And as you can see, you got a bunch of points for each Banshee. So that's nice. And I guess I'll refill my ammo now that I'm back over here. And health. And we're going across the bridge again. So I advise that you could put Famine on in the Pillar of Autumn guide for the par score, but I'd probably not do that for, uh, for this one, just because I'm going to be using the Plasma Pistol a lot to noob a bunch of elites. But if you want to go about it a different way, that's up to you. But the Plasma Weapons, uh, obviously are very helpful for taking those sh down the shields of elites. But, of course, there are a bunch of weapons dropped. Since there's a bunch of grunts around, you could easily pick up another one, even though that'd be kind of a, kind of a hassle, but you could easily do it. You just have to exchange your plasma pistol out for a new one more often if you want to put the famine on. Black Eye would have been good in Pillar of Autumn, which I didn't mention in my guide, but it's good because it's in a confined place, so you could easily just run through and smack people as you go. But I would not advise Black Eye for this level since it's wide open, and it's tougher to get to people. They could easily just run away from you or back up and shoot at you at the same time. I usually take out the grunts first here, but I had the plasma pistol, so I got very excited. And now the grunts. Get out of here. Don't be afraid to use the plasma pistol like an actual pistol. It's pretty effective. This ain't no Halo 2 plasma pistol. 
Though that one was good at locking on to targets. This one's good too, though. Surprisingly. You may not realize it. How effective this one is at locking on to people. You can lock on to people without the targeting reticle even turning red, which is awesome. And from very far away. So, the first dropship comes down here in this section. So you'll want to come over here so you could kill them fairly easily and quickly. You could stick the two elites. You can see I only got one. I thought he was going to die from the explosion or at least get weakened, but he fell through the damn dropship. So that provided him cover. Very silly. You could probably just stick both of them and be fine. And once you kill both elites, the jackals and grunts freak out, so they're easy to take care of after that. Just got to get those two elites real quick. And then we're off to the second dropship. Hold on, let me exchange my plasma pistol. And the second one drops over there every time. There's uh, some health right there to your left in that down dropship. I'm not going to use it yet, though. If I came over here quicker, I could more easily stick those elites, but I did not do that, apparently. Jeez, I cannot shoot that grunt. So we took out one elite. See how it locked on right there? The only reason it didn't hit him was because he was running forward, so it kind of looped around in back of him, but you'll see more examples of the freaking awesome plasma pistol at work. And again, using it like a normal pistol is very effective. I mean, I know the human magnum gets the limelight in Halo 1, but the Halo 1 plasma pistol was pretty snazzy too. So I took too much time dilly-dallying over there, so I'm not going to be able to have a shot at sticking anybody over here. If I just hightailed it over here to begin with, I would have, but I did not do that apparently. And now I gotta deal with them as usual. So I'm gonna noob them. There's two elites again. And this grunt with the needler is bothering me. I should have died here. I'm surrounded. I have no shield. They're all dead, though. I don't care. Who needs a shield? I've been a Spartan for like 30 years or something, and I just got a overshield, or a shield in general. I'm used to not having a shield. I can take it. Up here is more ammo and health. And we got a dropship going over there. Again, if I was quicker, I could run over there and take them out close up with some plasma grenades. But that didn't happen. Also, uh, something to note, I should probably talk about how you get points and more points. Some ways to do it are to get multi-kills, like a double kill, triple kill, overkill. And that will increase the points for each of those kills. So I think it's a 15, no, 20% increase. Yeah, for at least from one kill to a double kill, it's a 20% bonus. I don't know if the 20% keeps going up. I'd imagine it would. So try to get as many multi-kills as possible. Also, try to keep your spree up, whatever spree you're on, like a killing spree. Because A, sprees increase your multiplier, or at least give you uh, bonus points. I got a message. Hold on, I'm doing a commentary here. Also, if you die, you lose points. So that's kind of a two-way bad thing. A double bad thing. I'm incredibly articulate at this moment. But anyway, 
you definitely want to not die as much as possible. You can see that, how effective that plasma pistol was, even though it was not really locked onto him at all. It became locked on once it uh, got near him. It has a mind of its own, basically. You let it go, and then that's all you could do. Then it just does its own thing. So we killed all those pieces of garbage, and now we got the warthog coming in. Also, by the way, you uh, you lose 100 points when you die, but you lose 200 points when you reverse to last checkpoint, so don't do that if you could avoid it. I know I like to, when I die, I like to quickly go to revert to last checkpoint just because it saves like four seconds of watching my dead body and then it deciding to revert me to the last checkpoint. But you don't want to do that in this case because obviously you lose an extra 100 points. Also, when you're in a Warthog, any kills that your gunner gets on the back or anybody in the passenger seat gets, those kills go to you. Or at least the points do. I'm not sure about the kills, but the points definitely go to you. Yeah, the kills go to you. Why would they not? So that's a... Uh, don't be bashful about letting your gunner do a lot of the heavy lifting, as long as you're in the Warthog. Obviously, if you're outside of the Warthog, not driving it, and you kind of station him somewhere. Any kills he gets won't count towards you, but as long as you're driving and he's killing people, you get those points, so that's pretty helpful. He has unlimited ammo, and it's a pretty hefty gun. So I'm driving in here. There's five, or there's four grunts on the left, and there was one in the middle there you saw. He likes to go to the, le uh, the left as well a lot of the time. So that's why I started saying there's five grunts to the left. But anyway, so I like to clear out that left side first because it gives me a kind of a hiding spot, a nice safe place. They don't really come over this, what is this even called? This raised road in the middle of the room. They don't like to cross the road. They are not the chicken. They didn't go to the other side and they never will unless you do something crazy like throw a couple of grenades at them and blast them over to the other side, but other than that, they'll just stay on each of their own sides. So you can see those jackals are just standing there. Not crossing the road. And right now I'm just, whoa boy. What a catch. They call me Randy Moss. They don't call me that. They've never called me that. But anyway, obviously avoid, you know, getting your Warthog stuck like I just did. Now I don't have a gunner to help me out. Good job. You can see I just got a killing spree, even though I've got way more than 10 kills this whole game. But I will admit to dying a couple times throughout this level, so that's why you'll see... Sometimes those killing sprees will pop back up. You cannot make this jump. I was like, hey, can I do this? The answer is no. But you could park your Warthog there, or anywhere along that wall, and then just jump on top of the Warthog and then jump up there and avoid killing these elites. But I want to get the points from them, so I'm going to go ahead and kill them. Plasma Rifle. Changing it up. Sweet. Alright, now we go activate this bridge. And then we're going to go across the bridge. And then we'll be on the other side. Like the chicken. The chicken didn't cross a bridge, though. I don't think. Maybe he was like a toll booth attendant on a drawbridge. Maybe the road that we always talk about him crossing is actually a bridge as well. It's like a bridge is a road. But a road isn't always a bridge. You know what I mean? And that's also not true because bridges could just be like for walking across a river and not for cars. But you know what I'm trying to say. How about a bridge is always a pathway, but a pathway is not always a bridge. 
Now we're getting somewhere. A lot more crew made it off the than I Anywho. The captain I gotta, gave you know, talk about something to fill this time. I'm just driving down the hallway right now. There's not much to say. We have a to an I could, uh, you know, pose some more logic and ph philosophical stances. But, you know, that's about it. Reunion tour. I don't remember meeting these people ever, so I don't know what kind of reunion they're talking about. Oh, I get it. It's the Marines I'm trying to save. Oh, it all comes together. I was thinking of the Covenant. I'm like, who are these people? So go over this way. I like to do this one first. Some of its preference. I believe this is the best way, but I mean, do what you want to do. I like to drive my Warthog in and splatter at least one or two of those Jackals. So I got those guys. The Plasma Pistol also works at taking the shield of the Jackal down. I know it's mostly popular for taking out the Elite's shield, but it works against the Jackals just fine. And right here in this section, we're going to find out about the marvels of the plasma pistol. We're kind of cornered in here. And, uh, yeah, it, that's going to work right there. Suck it. Don't got to deal with you shooting at me from above. Ain't nobody got time for that. And we're going to do it again. You can see it was not lit up as red but it still locks on as long as it's aimed at them and he just fell off that's fine with me I would have appreciated the points from his oh I did get it what do you know alright this elite is playing games with my heart I should have known from the start Backstreet Boys, anybody? Or is that in sync? I don't even know. I think it's Backstreet Boys. BSB. Probably shouldn't have picked up that health while my shield was down. I knew I shouldn't have at the time, and I just didn't care. I didn't even care. I just kept going. Alright, got him. So, now this side is clear. We gotta go down. Get the Bereeds. Kill a couple of grunts and jackals down here. There we go. There is yet another. But that bird gave another feather. I would think that Voldemort's wand wouldn't have been a tail or a feather of the phoenix or whatever the hell it was made out of. I think it would have been like dragon heart string or something more badass than a feather. You know, since he's all evil and shit. I don't know, man. I'm not JK Rowling. Or Rowling. I pronounce it Rowling. I don't even know what it's... I've just read it. I don't know what it's pronounced as. There are a jackal. Whoa, there is a grunt. Those were just all the wrong words. There's jackals over there, though. And there's like three elites over there. Ah. I took his shield down, but I couldn't finish him off because... Bitch Pants McCrabby right here was standing in my way, and now he's dead. Good stick. Good job there. Why, thank you very much. So I like to throw, just in, just in general, I'll throw grenades at like a wall behind somebody so it'll fall down behind them. Obviously that didn't work, but that's a decent concept and strategy for just your general Halo gameplay, especially if it's a plasma grenade because it just, it doesn't bounce really. So it'll just hit the wall and then fall down at the wall. 
And if they're still standing there, they're gonna be dead. So these elites are just playing into our hands right now. These ramps are great because you have so much time to prepare for them to finally even get to the bottom of the ramp. And before they were even at the bottom of the ramp, they were dead. And if they do start coming up the ramp, they're just running straight at you. So it's easy to stick them or plasma grenade, or not plasma grenade, stick them or plasma pistol them and then finish them off with a headshot. So that's everybody in this section. And now you can use one or two of the surviving Marines, if you have one or two, and get them in your Warthog. Fortunately, I have two, I believe. I don't know, I think I... Do I have two? Yeah, I do. I think I run one over or something, though. Because I only remember having one. There he goes, that piece of crap. I'm driving here. Who runs behind a vehicle that is backing up out of my nice parking space? At least he gave me some pistol ammo there. Thanks, buddy. Alright, we're off. So this next section has the Banshees. And you could let your gunner in the back kill them. Just keep driving around so you don't get shot by the Banshee bomb. Because that could be pretty devastating, especially when you only have one health bar. Unfortunately, I bail for the first one, so I don't even get the credit for that. You can see he is dead and crashed right there. My gunner killed him right after I got out. Because I was picking up the sniper there. But, you can see, I got a lot of points for that, so... Imagine if you had two of them. Oh my god. The possibilities... So grab a sniper. We're going to use this at the end of the level, the last section. And now we're going to the second section. Well, not in the whole game. There's been way more sections than that, but this area is kind of a hub with three sections off of it. So this is the second one of those. And we got a couple jackals. Splatter them. If you can. And there's more sniper ammo. And I believe pistol ammo right at that crashed dropship. Along with the health you saw there. So we can get that later. If we need to. I'm being, this is like a really reckless strategy. Because obviously you could get stuck. Or if you, you could get stuck with a plasma grenade. But you could also get stuck in general. Like not being able to maneuver out or away from them quickly so they could just kill you but I'm just being willy nilly and it's working out pretty well but you could always just drive to the top with the marines waiting up there and then just slowly pick them off as they come at you from there so that would be a more conservative strategy Try not to run over your marines because you will lose points and also they might turn on you and start shooting at you. I was trying to get this sniper guy who apparently died. It looks like he killed himself though because he's like behind a rock, totally safe. And he's sitting down up against the rock. I lost my gunner. But if you get that sniper in your passenger seat, it's pretty awesome because he just shoots everybody and you get all the credit. I only got an AR guy in my passenger seat. What a letdown. So once you kill everybody here or everyone outside of your Warthog dies, you could leave. So we're going to do that first one, though, just uh, so we can get as many points as possible. This level has a good amount of enemies, so we're going to rely more on our base score than we did in Pillar of Autumn. Pillar of Autumn, we got that three times multiplier for the time bonus at the end, but this time we're only going to get 1.53, I believe. 
and I finished this in roughly 34 minutes. This video is a little longer because I died a couple times, so I cut out those segments where I was poning people, and then I died and got set back a few minutes, and I'm like, what is this? But anyway. They're all dead, so we're moving on. Our gunners, our gunner and passenger, both have a decent amount of health, so we're looking good. We got full health. We got full sniper. We're hitting the town. Ready to pick up some ladies. Unfortunately, all the ladies are aliens. Not cool, dude. I mean, if you're into that, it's fine, but uh, that's just not what I was expecting. And that guy died pretty quickly. I was just talking about how healthy he was. Whoa, buddy. That did not work out very well. So I'm just going to hightail it up to where the remaining Marines are. And I'm hoping that the sniper guy up here will get in my passenger side. Spoiler alert, he's not going to. He's a piece of crap. I guess it is my fault, though, because I was driving and I was closer to the other two guys than I was to him. But, you know... Where's the sniper guy? Get in my ride. I see him. He's over there. So I'm trying to get them. How He just like slid up my the side of my hog. Which sounds odd when I say it out loud. I was trying to get him to only get in the back for the gunner seat. But uh, then he just... Rode on up me. Can't get through there, player. Or there. Well, you might be able to. Actually, I'm done with that warthog. Usually I set it up near those trees to my left now. And he does a pretty good job of killing a bunch of people. But I want the points. So the first dropship comes in over there, which is why there's enemies over there. And you can do a pretty good job of killing them. It takes just two snipes, for the most part, to kill an elite most of the time. Sometimes they'll take three because they're being a piece of crap. If you, like, shoot them in the arm twice or something, then they'll be like, I ain't dead yet. And you're like, oh, God. Good thing I have way more ammo. But this part is fairly easy. You can see just sniping them from a far distance. It's pretty effective. No sniper guy. He's trying to take my kills. And then you got your magnum for the grunts. You're getting those multi kills. Also, uh, something that gets your... Whoa, I didn't even see him there. Something that gets your points up is... You know, killing him with a headshot. Like, on his, your first shot, rather than... Shooting him, like, eight times and him not dying. And then finally dying. Look at those points go up. Each kill is more and more when you're working with multi-kills. This is great because you're far away, so you got plenty of room to maneuver, but also they tend to run straight at you, so it's kind of easy to shoot them with a sniper, or any weapon, but obviously you want to snipe them. There's more sniper ammo behind me at the crashed dropship, if you need it. There's more pistol ammo there, too. Probably some frags. This is the last wave. There's some elites and jackals. Get out of here. And 
We're just mopping them up. And again, we need 12,000. So we're right at that mark, and we are done. And now I'm just, you know, victory shooting my gun off and throwing grenades. I don't need it anymore. So I got in the dropship. Achievement unlocked, and you can see my time bonus and my base score and everything. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or any other guides you'd like me to make, and I will surely put those together. I'll see you later, guys, for more achievements.